result and performance from the lads? Yeah, I mean, we came in last year and lost in the semi-final. And obviously, um, we've been in the final before, um, a few years ago, and the lads really wanted this this year. It's likely that we might not be here next year. And the focus is, we've won everything else, we wanted to win this. And obviously you've got to get to the final to actually win it. So, um, yeah, they really wanted it and they really put their hearts into it tonight. And was it a red card, in your opinion? It, it was. Um, it was very high. And I, I, it's always hard when you get uh, the opposition who lose a man so early in the game because it makes it difficult for both sides, really, because ten men aren't always easy to play against. They've got to up their ante and they're all over the place. They, they lose the formation, but they battle hard and... Um, Crown Paints really fought hard right to the end tonight. You know, it was only a one-nil win. Um, I think we dominated most of the game, but they did well to stay in it right to the very end. And how will you prepare for the next round? Uh, well, on paper, it should be more in our favour. But uh, a final's a final, and um, we've got to go, um, we've got two finals, probably much in the same weekend, um, which is good. But this is the one that they really want. So the focus will be on finishing the season and get the outstanding games finished. And then uh, I would like to say we do loads of preparation, but we don't. Most of the lads play Saturday football. Um, good set of lads have been great over the last uh, six years that I've had the team together. We've had a lot of success, won a lot of trophies. And, uh, you know, the lads will really want that on the night, but we won't give broomheads anything other than the respect that they'll deserve. They've fought hard to get to the final as well and uh, you know we'll go out and do our, our utmost to punish them and, and win, win it. Good. Yeah. Uh, so not quite the result you were hoping for no. but was it a performance that you were after at all? Second half was, I think first half we had too many players that were at the maximum to be honest in the semi-final you've got to have everybody you know at it as they say um, unfortunately you know fair play to them I don't think the pitch particularly helps us, the style of play that we, you know, we like to get the ball down and pass it and that didn't really help us, but you've got to play the conditions and I think certainly first half they played them better than us, so obviously congratulations to them, um, but yeah, we're obviously bitterly disappointed with it really. And the referee certainly gave out a lot of bookings, especially the red card, did you agree with a lot of... Yeah, I mean it's easy to say things like that, obviously, you know, it would be a referee, you know what I mean? It's a difficult job, let's be serious. There's not a lot of referees out there, certainly at this level, never mind. You know, even the higher levels, it's difficult to find good referees. So, you know, I'm not going to make any bones about it. I'm not going to blame the referee. That's not an excuse. I think certainly, you know, second half performance, very proud of with 10 men. Um, but first half, I don't know whether it was the win, the pitch, or what, you, you come up for excuses. But I just don't think we're at the races. We only had two, maybe three players at it first half. And to win a football game, you need you need six, seven, eight. You know, if if too many have a bad day, you're not going to win football games. It's as simple as that. And what's next for the squad? We've just got to stick together. You know, it's still the young squad, still learning. Still, you, you see, even me myself. Obviously, I'm a young manager. Um, there's a lot of naivety around at, at times where they, you know, their experience on the nights probably dragged them through. Um, experience counts for a lot in football, as we all know. Um, but just got to stick together, keep our heads up. Some good players in there. Um, you know, we won't be folding or anything like that, it's a case of going strong now and you know we come again next year and we, we try and go again and win it next year.